G'day all, Mark at Southern Cross Amateur Astro here and this is just going to be a quick five or six minute video on a critical update for Astro Photography Tool. It's one where if you're running Windows 10 and keeping your OS up to date you will need to get this to fix a pretty major problem. Um, that's the main focus of version 4.42 but it also adds some other fixes uh, and user options and control features. Uh, so we'll get in and have a quick look at it. It's only going to be a very quick video. So we'll head straight over to the What's New page on the APT website. And here we go. Uh, as you see, the very first thing is it fixed APT crashing when using object browser and checklists after the latest Windows 10 update. So Microsoft broke APT. Uh, generally what it was, like in the object browser, I think it was mainly related to the stars tab and the to do tab if you selected an object from those apt would crash uh, it's a change made in windows 10 update and ivo maria got straight on top of it and have fixed that little problem and now it's got a few extra added features added a start on altitude above whatever altitude into session craft and this I'm happy to see this. Um, it lets you set a altitude to start imaging on, rather than having to try and find the time that the uh, object can get to a altitude where you can actually image it. I've got trees and everything else around, and some of them don't come up and be imageable until you know, they get to 70 degrees or something. And I can just enter in that because I already know what the uh, position is, rather than trying to hunt down a time. Uh, added a scope focus of a scope position this is east or west of the uh, pier in your naming options in your files uh, and this is mainly for better performance in pics and site fast integration tool so if you use that it can be handy to have the naming option now to add to your files another one i like is the uh, control click on the pause button at the moment you have shift click um, which stops the current image abandons it and starts it again straight away what control click will now do for you is it will abandon the current image then wait for you to click on resume to start the new image uh, that way if you've got a few clouds blowing over whatever and you're halfway through an image and you know you don't want to wait an extra four or five minutes for it to pause by just hitting the pause button uh, and you don't want it starting again immediately by doing the shift click you can now do it yourself when you're ready to resume so it's just you know if you've got a few clouds blowing over or something that you want to wait until they're gone to start the exposure again so that's quite handy uh, added a go to plus plus command to enable the tracking automatically uh, apparently some people who had turned off tracking uh, weren't getting it back when they used go to plus plus as part of their plan so that's been fixed now uh, added better handling for power outage logging so it's just to do with what goes in your log if you have a power outage which is helps if you need to find a problem uh, added applying an auto white balance for SV Boney or Bonnie cameras uh, for easier processing I've already seen someone post on the forums how they think they're happy to see this uh, so that'll help you if you're using those cameras um, and they've added more general stability fixes um, and they've also added in in session craft there was a problem if you're using the go to plus plus command um, and you chose near near solving and went out of it uh, when you go back in it switched it over back to blind solving so that's been fixed uh, fixed in session craft a problem with not starting the plan on altitude below and restarting the repeated plan um, I have no idea what this problem is I haven't had it so we'll have to wait and see but if you have had that problem it's fixed uh, fixed in session crafting error messages on the last day of the month in some situations uh, well just considering most days of the month I've been having no imaging time due to clouds uh, I haven't had this problem but I'm glad it's fixed and then in uh, the extended object list sh2-298 which is Thor's helmet is actually listed twice it's listed under this number and under its NGC designation um, the NGC designation is fine but the coordinates on this one were incorrect and they've just fixed that and really that's it uh, just if you've got Windows 10 get it for nothing more than the uh, fix to stop crashing APT uh, you will need it but these other extras and fixes will be handy as well anyway but this is available to all users so you can head on over to the APT website and download the new version 
So I'm just going to um, finish this one up here. Like I said, just sort and sweet. And I will see you all in another video. Wishes all clear skies and take care all.